Hi guys and welcome back to Three Layers Deep. Today I'm actually going to be doing a tutorial. It's actually been quite a while since I've um, filmed a tutorial and today I actually wanted to go with the like orangey coral type of colors. As you can see it kind of um, made my lip a bit more bolder. Um, this lipstick is actually the one of the new ones. Where did I put it? From MAC. I think it's from the um, Surf Baby Collection and it's called Hibiscus. I don't think you're going to see that but this is what it looks like and that's what it looks like on my lips and it is mm, definitely like an orangey color uh, orangey obviously color like an orangey corally color more orange than anything so, today I am actually going to be using a palette from Sleek, which is called, it's from the Paraguaya collection. It was like a limited collection, or not a collection, it was a limited palette from like, I don't know, like over the springtime. And this is what it looks like. Alright, and as you can see, like these two colors, I don't know if you, any of you guys have this, but these two colors are like extremely, to me they are like identical. These two colors on, they are absolutely identical. So, today I'm going to be using this one right there on the crease. I'm going to be using where is it? This one on the lid, and this is like um the all the colors I'm using today are matte, and this is like a pinkish tight like a pinkish color with a little bit of orangey to it, and then I'm gonna be using this as my highlight. So I believe I'm using oh, and I'm using that brown too, and the brown is like it's pretty it's not like a predominant color, but it's just gonna help to deepen the um the eye look. So I'm just gonna zoom in so you can get a better idea so that's what it looks like right there all right and yeah that is it so if you want to see how i got this look then keep on watching all right so that is the eye look right there let me zoom in just a bit i have i didn't do my eyebrows yet um with i just use painterly paint pop that stuff is amazing I'm going to start off on my lid with um, this color right here, which is just like a matte um, pinkish kind of um, orangey color. So I'm going to apply it on my lid. Okay, so I'm going to apply that all over my lid. And these are kind of dusty a little bit but the pigmentation is still pretty awesome as you can see and out that line you already know that you don't want to walk around with unblended shadow again i'm just going to go back into the same color really quickly make sure that it's packed on and again blend it out of like a, a what's it called tapered brush or whatever that's what you guys call it and i'm gonna go in with this color now these two colors they're very although they might not look it but they're very similar when you apply them but i'm actually going to be using this one right here on my crease and you're just gonna bring that all the way in then you're gonna blend out Okay, again, same brush, same color, that same orange, go back and just intensify it a tiny bit more. I'm just wiping off the brush. Okay, now we're going to go in with a pencil brush and I'm going to use that matte brown. Is just, And we're going to go right on the crease. And you're going to kind of bring it in a bit. I'm just going back into the color. Okay. And blend that out softly. Okay. And you can see it's kind of building up that um, orange that we just applied. And lightly outline that same 
um, color, that same brown, and just again. And I like to kind of lift up and then blend out. Now, you're going to go back into that orange that we just applied, lightly go back into the color, um, tap it off, and go right over that brown and blend out that brown okay so you can see that okay that looks about right actually let me go back into the orange again just a little bit more and I'm just going back into the brown and just relay relayering I guess just lightly so you get it to how you want it. I don't want it really um, dark, but I definitely want some dimension. So you're pretty much using this brown for a bit of dimension with the orange that's left on the brush. Okay, blend that out again. Okay, now I'm going to use um, this color right here and this is you can dupe that color I mean that's just like a creamy kind of like highlight color apply that as my highlight which it's really not doing much as a highlight but it's just kind of blending all the colors well the crease color at least okay and you see how you can still see like that line right there? I don't like that. So I'm just going to go back in with the brush. There's no there's no extra product. Well, whatever there's left on the, on the brush, you're not going to actually go back into the pan. You're just going to um, blend that out and slightly lift up like right there. Just lift it up because we've erased some of that color with the highlight. Okay. Now I like to kind of just go back into that first color we started with, which is that dusty, um, pinkish, kind of corally color, to go back on the lid with that. Okay, so we have the colors on our eyes. Now I'm going to go in with Teddy as um, my liner. And this is like a nice brown with, what is this? It's kind of like a, a brownish color, but it has a bit of like gold flecks in it, bronzy gold flecks in it. So, I mean, improvise and I'm just going to, okay, you guys, don't judge me. Yes, I'm going to tug in my outer corner of my eye. I know how bad that is, but come on, y'all, don't front. It is the easiest way to apply it. So, I'm just going to line my eye and kind of flick it a little at the end so it should look like that and then I'm gonna take the same pencil brush that I used to apply that brown and I'm going to again tug a little bit and start to smudge it out and I didn't go all the way in I just want to make my lashes look a little thicker that's all and then the mascaras I'm going to apply is the L'Oreal I don't know I think it's the collagen something and then on top of that I'm going to use the um, Rimmel the Max Bold Curves I don't like to wear this on its own it doesn't give me volume whereas this gives me the volume and um, it does give me length, but I want a bit more length. So that's what I have on on this eye, as you can see. So that's what I'm going to do there. And I'm going to come back with, um, oh, my face, <gasps> with um, the liner on the bottom and stuff like that. So that's pretty much the eye look right there. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and line, put mascara on and line the bottom line and then smudge it out okay and I'll be right back with the finished look okay guys so there it was um, I hope you enjoyed it I hope you found it uh, I don't know hope you found it you know informative I guess 
so yeah that was it and also i didn't film me putting on eyeliner in the bottom but i mean you know how to put on eyeliner in the bottom i just you know brought it into about halfway not not really um because when i smudged it out i smudged it out halfway but i brought it into maybe about uh a quarter in and then i smudged it out and on the bottom lashes i only have one mascara on i didn't actually do both and i just used the l'oreal collagen something something collagen i forgot what the name of this one is and as my blush i used mac goddess this is from an older collection old 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 collection but this is a really nice um corally orange type of blush so i love this blush i use it every time i'm gonna do like a more of a warm look i use that um as bronzer or contouring which i really didn't contour like that that much i actually use the um msf naturals in dark all right and i've been using this a lot lately like i this is what i use to you know as a bronzer or as a contour this is what i've been using like for the past like two and a half months and as my highlight um i use a mineralized skin finish this is really 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 old too it's called gold spill this is from my old collection and that's what it looks like so it has oh okay there you go it has more of like the browns and the peach tones and the pearl color but once you swirl it all in it doesn't really look like that so it's more like a i don't know it gives me like a nice warm type of highlight and that's it i'm wearing my hair up because it is ridiculously hot oh my gosh it's like 90 degrees i went to go pick my son up from from school and i just wanted to die like uh, you know new englanders were never happy it's either too hot or too cold you know there's i swear in new, i live in massachusetts and there's like never a spring or a fall it goes from winter to summer and summer to winter i swear i think you might have like you know a week that's actually fall or maybe a week that's actually spring but i swear like and you new englanders can attest to that there <laughs> there is like no fall or like winter i mean spring it's just i mean it's really hot right now like it's really really hot <sighs> like i have the fan as you can see back there so yeah i think <laughs> for the majority of the summer i am going to be having my hair up. all right guys so that was it i don't think i have anything else that i want to say all right so god bless you guys and i'll see you guys in my next video bye